Ich bin der Jan, Head of Cultivation bei 420 Pharma. Beim letzten Mal haben wir uns angeschaut, wie das medizinische Cannabis angebaut wird, wie es dann von Kanada nach Deutschland kommt. Und jetzt gehen wir aber noch mal einen Schritt weiter zurück. Moment, nicht ganz so weit zurück. Wir gucken uns jetzt an, wo die Mutterpflanzen eigentlich herkommen. Weil alles fängt nämlich an mit einem Samen. Bei 420 Pharma liefern wir an die Apotheken und wir importieren davor das Cannabis, was bei unseren Anbaupartnern angebaut wird. Die Cannabispflanzen werden bei unseren Anbaupartnern angebaut, aber wo kommt die Sorte eigentlich her? Die Cannabissorten kommen von äh, den Züchtern oder Breedern und wir arbeiten seit ungefähr zwei Jahren mit Compound Genetics zusammen. So, hi, I'm Felipe Ricalde, the co-founder of Node Labs and the CEO of Compound Genetics. Hi, my name is Lauren Avenius and I'm the CEO of Node Labs, which is the holder of Compound Genetics. Hi, my name is Daniel Adler Golden and I'm one of the co-founders of Node Labs. Compound Genetics is spezialisiert darauf, neue Sorten zu züchten mit außergewöhnlichen Aromaprofilen. Um eine neue Cannabis-Sorte zu züchten, braucht man natürlich die Elterngenetiken. Compound Genetics hat sich vor einiger Zeit mit NodeLabs zusammengeschlossen. NodeLabs hat ungefähr 300 bis 400 verschiedene Genetiken in ihrer Bibliothek und damit ähm, können sie neue Sorten züchten. NodeLabs was founded in 2017 uh, following the fires in Sonoma County. Unfortunately, there were widespread fires throughout Santa Rosa and Sonoma County uh, having a long history of cannabis, cannabis production. A lot of the varieties were lost during that fire. I had been talking to Dan about opening a tissue culture lab to back up genetics. And in 2017, the Tubbs fire uh, swept through Napa and Sonoma, and I lost a, a collection of genetics. And the next day I called him up and said, hey, I've got a, a location. Uh, if you are serious about opening up a tissue culture lab, come out to California and let's start this thing. Yeah, so, I, um, I lost my mom and my grandma after uh, they got injured and um, they were prescribed opioids and they both changed and they both led to uh, a pretty tragic uh, loss of both their lives. And so I'm pretty much driven to, sorry, I'm just driven to change that. So I'm gonna bring medicine, real medicine, not toxic medicine not harmful, painful shit to people. And that's why. So my journey with cannabis is unique to a lot of the people in my company. Um, I'm Mormon, which means we don't, we don't partake in anything, right? We don't drink. There's no coffee, there's no alcohol, there's no, there's even not even all teas. So cannabis was not part of my like, I didn't have the normal, you're 13 years old and trying cannabis with your friends. But I have a really deep personal connection to the plant. So, um, you know, when I was in my 20s, my brother really struggled with depression. And it got, it got really bad. He had been on antidepressants through his teenage years and it wasn't sustainable for him anymore. And so after, a really, really tough struggle, he tried cannabis and it immediately turned him around. Immediately he was functioning, he was holding down his jobs, he was gaining weight, um, he was having healthy relationships. And so my first experience with cannabis was the feeling of seeing it, like it felt like it saved my brother's life. So I've always had like a very, very, very sacred respect for this plant and for what it can do. Die Zusammenarbeit zwischen 420 Pharma und Compound Genetics ist so entstanden, dass äh, Dan von Compound und ich schon äh, länger Kontakt hatten. Wir haben uns 2019 kennengelernt. Und als ich bei 420 Pharma angefangen habe, äh, wollte ich natürlich die besten Genetiken nach Deutschland bringen und dann haben wir, haben wir mit diesem Projekt angefangen. Ich 
So the relationship with uh, Node Labs and Compound Genetics uh, and 420 Pharma, uh, man, that began a number of years ago. Um, I'd actually met Jan when we were doing that original release at the Emerald Cup of the Jet Fuel Gelato Volume 3 collection, um, and we just hit it off right away. Uh, many years later, we reconnected as the international space was starting to develop a little bit more, and 420 Pharma was a natural fit because of their focus on premium, indoor, hand-trimmed flour. From their commitment to get the product to the customer as quickly as possible, it was a fantastic fit for what we do with both Node Labs and Compound Genetics. The thing that excites me most is working with a partner that shares our vision, you know, who respects the plant, who respects the people who work this plant. It is challenging, right? I am not a legacy operator, but everyone on my team is. And to see so much of the industry not elevate their experience, and instead to feel still like there's so much stigma with the people who work the plant. I am so excited to see 420 Pharma win and to see 420 Pharma win in a way that demonstrates not only, right, that this plant is unique and special, but that the people who work this plant are unique and special and that they have something valuable to offer to the world. Uh, this partnership is unique because not only are we able to bring some of the most coveted California varieties to market, we're also able to help commercialize some of those older varieties, helping patients not only experience the best uh, cannabis of California, but some of the best cannabis that North America and the world has had to offer over the last 25 years. Uh, what we are doing right now is going to have impact for decades. In den letzten zwei Jahren sind Compound Genetics und 420 Pharma immer näher zusammengerückt. Wir haben immer intensiver zusammengearbeitet und das erste Resultat einer gemeinsamen Selektion wird jetzt endlich auf den Markt gebracht als Berlin Berries. Aber wir sind natürlich immer weiter dabei, um neue Sorten zu entwickeln und zu entdecken. Und deswegen sind wir nach San Francisco geflogen, um zusammen mit Compound neue Selektionen zu starten.